Chapter 2 Relatives What is extended family The members of the family who stay in the same house are a part of your immediate family Some members of the family live far away from you in a different house city or sometimes even in a different country They are a part of your extended family they are called our relatives Rohit is very happy these days his extended family has gathered for his grandparents 50th marriage anniversary and they are throwing a grand party There are so many people in his house. Both paternal and maternal relatives have come from different places in India and abroad. The extended family is happy to meet Ro- Rohit is having so much fun playing with his cousins. The elders are talking and exchanging old memories. They are sharing stories from their childhood when some of them lived in the same town. The members of the extended family keep in touch with each other over the phone and through letters and emails. They are there for each other for happiness and sorrow. Taking decisions in the family. A few years back, Rohit's father had decided to shift to a new house from his ancestral house with his parents. However, before he took the decision, he talked to Rohit's grandparents and other elders in the family. He wanted to take the permission before his final decision. He knew that the elders had more experience than him and they would guide him to buy the right house for his family. That is how all small and big decisions are taken in a family. The elders sit together and discuss before a decision is taken. Sharing thoughts and discussing with family members helps to take the right decision. Family values and traditions. Many years ago, Rohit's great-grandfather had started a special custom in the family. On every Diwali, they donated clothes, food, books and toys at an orphanage. This was a family custom that passed on from one generation to another. Even today every member of the family tries to keep up the custom learning from family members Rohit's youngest maternal uncle Ajay is a very good painter during his grandparents 50th marriage anniversary he made portrait for them everyone praised him for the beautiful painting that he had made for his grandparents he is the only person in the family who had taken up such a profession everyone is happy with his decision Rohit too has learned drawing from his uncle He takes lessons from his uncle whenever they visit them or he visits them. In his school, he has won the art competition. Uncle Ajay feels so proud of his nephew. Often different members of a family have different skills. The members of a family may also have different habits and may be involved in different professions. These differences make each member special in his or her own way. It's fun to learn from each other. Time to relearn. The members of the family who stay in the same house are a part of your immediate family. Some members of the family live far away from you in a different house and are called extended family. We meet our extended family on happy occasions and even on sad occasions like birthday or any sad event in the family. We share our joys and sorrows with the relatives. Sharing thoughts and discussing with family members help to take the right decision. Different members of a family have different skills. Chapter 3 Sensing things around us. Our sense organs help us to know the world around us. Our eyes tell us that the rose is red. Our nose tells us that it has a sweet smelling fragrance. Our skin tells us to handle it carefully because it has thorns. Our tongue tells us that the taste of mango is sweet and our ears tells us that the bees are buzzing around us. We better stay away from them. Sense of sight From the time we wake up in the morning till the time we go off to sleep our eyes keep working. They collect information about things around us like the shape, color and movement. They send the information to the brain which in turn guides the body how to act. For example, while crossing the road you see a car. Your eyes tell your brain about the car. Your brain tells you to stop and wait for the car to pass. Then you cross the road safely. Sometimes we use our eyes to express our feelings too like joy, sorrow, anger, fear and surprise. How the eyes work. An eye has different parts to work together. The eyelid protects the front part of the eye. It opens and shuts several times a minute. This is called blinking. The eyelashes also help to keep the dirt and other harmful objects away. Here's a diagram of the eyeball. You have the ora serrata, the ciliary body, the ciliary zonule, suspensory ligament, cornea, iris, 
pupil anterior pole anterior segment contains aqueous humor lens scleral venous sinus posterior segment contains vitreous humor sclera choroid retina macula lutea fovea centralis posterior pole optic nerve central artery and vein of the retina optic disc that is the blind spot the white part of the eyeball is called the sclera it covers most of the eyeball the cornea provides the eye a clear window to view the world through the iris is the colorful part of the eye the pupil is a black circle in the center of the iris it is an opening in the iris that lets light enter the eye the lens of the eyes help focus the light rays on the back portion of the eyeball this portion is called the retina the retina takes the light the eye receives and changes it to signs that the brain can understand the brain reads the signals and we know what we are seeing the optic nerve carries the messages to the brain care of the eyes always sit up while reading or writing do not read while lying down it strains the eyes keep the book one foot away from your eyes do not watch television or read for a long time sit at least 6 feet away from the tv set do not read in dim or bright light it strains the eyes make sure the light is good enough for reading do not rub your eyes with dirty hands or clothes germs can enter your eyes and cause infection wash your eyes several times with clean and cold water every day sense of smell our sense of smell tells us many things we know that a heap of garbage smells bad we can smell freshly baked cookies and cakes these smell good our nose helps us to smell different things all living things need air to live nose also helps us to breathe in clean fresh air and breathe out the dirty air how the nose works the nose has two holes called nostrils we smell and breathe through the nostrils the nerves present in the nose have special parts that pick up different smells from the air we breathe in the nerves then carry a message over the smell to the brain the brain is able to sense the smell and tells what kind of smell it is care of the nose do not pick your nose with your finger do not use a dirty handkerchief to blow your nose it can cause infection sense of hearing all of us love to hear soft and melodious music and feel disturbed by loud unpleasant sounds our ears help us to hear these external organs of the body help us to hear all kinds of sounds the sense of hearing helps us in many ways we are able to listen to what others are saying we can enjoy our favorite music the sense of hearing also keeps us safe for example we move away when we hear the horn of a vehicle passing by how the ears work the ear is made of three different part the outer ear the middle ear and the inner ear all these parts work together and help us to hear the outer ear collects all kinds of sounds the sound collected by the outer ear passes through the ear canal and reaches the middle ear in the middle ear the ear drum changes the sound into sound waves called vibrations that reach the inner ear From the inner ear signals are sent to the brain with the help of nerves. The brain tells us what kind of sound it is. Care of the ears. Never insert any pointed object into your ear. It damages the ear drum. Clean your outer ears with a clean towel. Avoid loud sounds as they can damage your ear drum. Never hit people on their ear. Sense of taste. External organ tongue helps us to say that a piece of cake is sweet a slice of lemon is tangy and bitter gourd is bitter and chili is real spicy the tongue helps us to talk it also helps us to move the food in the mouth it helps us to swallow the food as well how the tongue works there are the taste buds on the tongue when we eat something the teeth and the saliva in the mouth help to break down the food into smaller pieces The taste buds catch the taste of the food and send messages to the brain using nerves. Our taste buds can recognize four basic kinds of tastes: sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. The sweet taste buds are located near the front of the tongue. The sour and salty taste buds lie on either side of the tongue. 
The bitter taste buds are found at the back of the tongue. Care of the tongue. Clean your tongue every morning either with your toothbrush or your tongue cleaner. Don't eat very hot things because they can burn your taste buds. Sense of touch. We touch, feel and distinguish between different objects with the help of our skin. The skin is the largest sense organ. It covers a complete body. So, we can touch a cup of hot tea with our hands and say it is hot and cut snow with our feet and say it is cold. Skin also helps us to know if an object is hard, soft, rough or smooth. How the skin works? The bottom layer of the skin is called dermis. The sense of touch starts there. The bottom layer of the skin is filled with many tiny nerve endings that give information about the things which your body comes in contact with. They do this by carrying the messages to the brain. So if we touch something prickly, our brain tells our hand to move away from danger. The message travels along the nerves. Care of the skin. We should take a bath with mild soap and water to remove dirt and sweat from our skin. We should always wear clean clothes. Any scratch or cut on the screen should be treated with an antiseptic lotion to keep away the germs. A world without senses. Some people are not able to see while some are not able to hear or speak. However, their sense of touch and smell might be very well developed. These people are differently abled. Some people cannot see, but they are able to read and write using a special script called the brain. In this script, the characters are represented by raised dots. They feel these dots with their fingers and are able to read. Some people cannot hear or speak. They communicate with their friends and parents using the sign language. We can learn a lot of things from differently abled people. We should help and encourage them. Time to relearn. Our five sense organs are eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. They help us to see, hear, smell, taste, touch and feel. The brain controls all the sense organs. Some people may not have any of the sense organs functioning normally.